Still no Dark Venusaur! Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I suppose I could cheat to get Dark Venusaur, but I'm trying to avoid cheats unless I can help it, you know? So, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to choose the Swift deck this time, and I decided to come over to this one, because I'm still not sure if I want to go and do the whole challenge machines in full and anything like that, so I thought I, I would at least do one part for each, you know, just for at least one five dual run dealio. This is the GR Challenge Machine. It's free to play if you like. You can get a 50 win streak, you'll be awarded a rare coin. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no! Villa CD's got five. <laughs> Alright, let's play that challenge machine. Oh jeez, he's playing here! <laughs> so, what we get is a similar format to the other machine in that you've got regular club members for the first three, the top members, I guess you could say, as the number four, and then the special member at number five. So in this case, you got Velocini. Let's start that card battle. It's Chip. We're getting a lot of mass GR members. We play <laughs> We're playing in the GR tournament, aren't we? And I uh, like just in this area in general, but it's it's RNG, so you don't know what's coming up. Um, I I guess probably Machop because he's using Lightning Pokemon, and they both do 20 damage, so you know might as well I'll just see what you do with that. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be an instant knockout of that Voltorb, and I'll also use Bill, of course. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely gonna be attacking with that. Machop, so I figured, eh, just attach the energy, why not? Should probably, so probably plop that on there and low kick for double damage. Maybe we can do this part really quick. <laughs> just, by, just by wiping out the Pikachu here at the plus power, and <laughs> maybe we'll have that sort of luck the whole way through. I wouldn't count on it, but in any case, I'm just kidding. It's gonna win this battle here and go on to the next duel. That was nice and quick. <laughs> well then. And Chip has been defeated. Alex is next. Glub glub time. <laughs> I mean shh. That's that's closer. Um <laughs> Well, I don't have any Lightning, so I guess do Hitmonchan. That's always a crowd pleaser. And I'll save the other Hitmonchan as a surprise in case I need it for something. And. Ooh, that's actually kind of a problem ish. It's just, it, yeah, it's psychic, but it uses water. But yeah, that's. Well, I don't have psychic resistant anything in, in general, so. I mean, I could could use Spearow, but that's resistant to lightning. I mean, I mean, excuse me, resistant to resistant to fighting and weak to lightning. So yeah, it's it's not the same kind of colorless Pokemon that would be. But I think Hitmonchan will be able to outlast the Jinx. Probably, there's a good chance of that. And you know, plus power would also be game <laughs> game over again. You know what? I might as well. See if I can get that plus power, you know? <laughs> Let's just see. I mean, this is possible. Might as well go for the... There it is! <laughs> go for the kill. And, oh, bench is full, man. Oh, that's right, the, the rule where you can only have three bench Pokemon is in effect against him. I forgot about that. Anyway, I win. <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't... I guess it doesn't tell you the special rules here until... Yeah, you just... <laughs> it isn't like they introduce you to them like they do at other locations. Wow, that was strangely quick. And Grace is up next. Sure. So we got the fightings. So we probably should avoid the lightnings. And focus on the flyings, too. And, oh, there we go, Spiro. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I probably should do Firo. And the Hitmonchan on the side, because I don't think she'll be able to outright do more than 30 damage on her first turn with fighting Pokemon. Oh, she got Spearow. <laughs> you can do 10 damage with that, but it's not going to be 
Yeah, it's not like the fighting resistance dealio that I was talking about. Um, I just wonder if I should... Nah, I'll, I'll attack with Spiro. I was thinking if I should maybe power up Hitmonchan to, to finish off with a quick sweep. But with Spiro out there, it's going to be a little bit dicier in that regard, because I have a, uh... Yeah! <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, I'm thinking I should do that even though I ha Yeah, the agility is just for the sake of stalling. Mmm, I think I will. Uh... Spheral's still two attacks away from knockout, but... I think I will go for the agility. And end my turn. <laughs> just because of the agility's possible um, j just damage prevention in general. So I might actually be able to get away with using the Spiro that way. Oh, I got another Spiro. Uh, <laughs> and here we go, here we go! Heads please! Thank you! It didn't matter that much if I got heads because I would have just put out Spiro on the next turn and then wiped out the her Spiro, because it still does 20 damage, even if I didn't get the damage prevention with... Yeah, see? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, <laughs> um... I don't know if I should really focus on... I mean, if she's not going to be using... Excuse me, if... if uh, like, if, if she's going to be using fighting resisting critters, maybe I should not be using fighting in general. <laughs> Anyway, I got the head flip again, so Firo is good for another turn, unless, you know, Gust of Wind and then Gust of Wind again or something like that, but... Uh, I might go for the Drill Pack, maybe, because she, she doesn't have anything that could... Yeah, I think I'll just do that. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should trade for something, though, before I Professor Oak. I think I should. And the thing I should trade for, because she's using flying Pokémon, is Electabuzz! Now I'll go Professor Oak, and then we'll drill pack that Spiro into Oblivion! And that is the power of the Swift deck. And I don't, I'm being way over dramatic here, but I'm just... <laughs> Uh, I guess I could at least plop out Machamp, because it's got strikes back at the very least. Even though it would take forever to power up its attack, but you know, I could use it for stalling and stuff like that if need be. And I already attached my energy, of course, I'm just thinking of what else I might want to plop out there. I guess I could put out the Voltor, it wouldn't hurt, I suppose. And Drill Pack. So now... Sphero is safe from her bench critters of all the varieties because she doesn't have anything powered up to the point that they can actually do enough damage and yeah. So I think that ended up being a pretty good turnout overall. Like C10, 20, it's all resistant as is the punch and the kick. So, hmm, not the very least. Should probably get that, <laughs> that going. And I... I guess I could try for the Machamp's power-up. And at the very least, I'm gonna Drill Peck. If she has a surprise double colorless energy, I'm boned, but... <laughs> okay, no energy. <laughs> nah, actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be boned. She's got four prize cards, and I've got other stuff waiting in the wings. That, and yes, yes, Strikes Back, we know. <laughs> drill Peck, finish off the Scyther, and... Call it a turn with another prize card. She doesn't seem too happy about this situation. That bind could help her stall if she keeps getting heads. Well, she got heads that time, but it's not going to be doing any damage to Firo. Unless she had Mr. Mime's neutral damage or something like that, but... That is a no-go. Wait, actually, maybe I should plop that at least one on Electabuzz, because if I don't have energy, yeah. I might not have something if Firo goes down, and if Firo could, for all I know, be infinitely paralyzed. Oh, she looks a lot happier about that draw. Um, well, let's see the bind. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, 
I'll see you next Tuesday when when the paralysis stops. <laughs> All right. And energy retrieval. That'll help her a little bit to get stuff powered up, but she doesn't really have the power to get through Fearow right now, so we're still doing pretty decently in that regard. Uh -huh. Aha! So the luck has ran out. Uh, do I want to actually gust the wind into that Machop, though? I, I, I might want to. Because that could turn into something that actually could damage Shiro. Uh, nah, I'll just go for the drill pack. Because uh, she, she'll she be forced to switch or risk losing the game. Yep, there we go. So, thinking about it more, I was like, eh, eh that would burn her energy more than anything, you know? <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna do that. Drill pack, we're gonna, we're gonna keep doing that. Scyther's got a free retreat, as you know, so we will be expecting, yep, another switch. And eventually she's going to run out of critters to switch to, and then we're just going to be able to finish her off, but... Oh, or... Is it possible to finish her off with... Switching into Machamp? <laughs> I think it would be. Um... Isn't it the yeah, zero retreat cost? At the very least, I should probably dump out what I've got in my hand. Wait, what actually, what am I, what am I even thinking here? I don't need to do anything. I just need one energy card from, from Professor Oak, and I probably will get that. Oh, there it is. Enemy retreats, Machamp, attack, seismic toss. There we go. And that's why I wanted to get Machamp powered up, because even with resistances, it could do 30, but it also has the possibility of doing that 60, which has got a lot of sweeping power, so... And that's another one that goes down. Next up is Alan. Let's -a go. Woo! Yeah, so he's not. I, I guess you could say technically the leader, leader of the place. It's more like Avery in a way, sort of. But at the same time, they're all. I guess you could say the powerhouses of the place, so to speak. Um, I don't. No, I mean, yeah, colorless Pokemon, but I don't know if I want to use Machop or Spearow, because I, I think he's got stuff that's resistant to fighting, if I remember correctly. And I don't have fighting energy, so I think I'm just going to go Spearow. Put Machop on the side, of course, and... Six prize cards, we're getting in it deep now. Uh, Onyx, okay, so that's a nice start to our good old Spiro Resistor here. And Professor O could bolster his resources, but we'll see how things go. And just call him Professor Oak again. Uh, he might just be trying, I mean, he's gonna dump out his hand of everything and then, you know, just draw out a whole bunch of poop. Uh, you know, that expand is a... If you think about it, it's not really that good of an attack. <laughs> It's two energy for ten, you only reduce damage by ten. I was thinking about that off camera, I was like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> like, there's a lot of things that do twenty damage with one energy card, and yeah. Uh, yeah, the other Onyx is the same as this one. And at the very least, I'm gonna put Plop Voltorb there. And I should probably begin attacking with Spiro. Things got a lot of HP out on his side, so chances are we should get those damage counters plopped out there. Dark Clefable could maybe make some difference, we'll see. Uh, oh, double colorless. And there's a Professor Oak. So yeah, it looks like he was just trying to bolster what he, his, his strategy was going for before uh, dropping the big fluff. Um... Hmm. I wonder if I... I wonder if I should get something powerful for that. You know what I mean? Like... Focusing on getting a Machamp just to wipe out the Clefable really quick, even with that Pokémon power. I'm thinking I should. I mean, obviously I can't trade for it right now, but... 
in the meantime, I'm just gonna basically set up for it. Hopefully. I mean, it'll, it'll take quite a few turns to get that going. That's why I say hopefully. <laughs> and there was no damage, but the paralysis hits, of course. There's my Pokemon Trader. I'm gonna go for the Machamp. There we go. And we're done. Unfortunately, I don't have the draw power or the energy for it, so it's gonna take even longer, probably. But we'll see how things go. I just wanna have something that can take on the Dark Clefable, since I don't really have that much right now. And, I mean, yeah, I do have the Voltorb, but it's, I can pretty much power that up any time. <laughs> it's just one lightning energy. And, I, well, I mean, I, I shouldn't say any time, because I don't have much energy, but you know what I mean. It's that it's it's going to be quicker to power it up when I have energy than, than not. Another Machoke, and we attack. So, we'll just keep nicking away at that Onyx, I suppose. I don't know if I want to not, like, totally knock it out. Because then he's probably going to put in the Clefable, and I'm not ready for that. <laughs> Yeah, let's see the dark song. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then I guess he could also hit with Jigglypuff, but <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll put that on Voltorb. <clears throat> and I guess let's just do a pack. <laughs> Make him think I misclicked. Yes, that's my plan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So at this point, it's. Oh, thank you, Professor. I was gonna say, at this point, I'm just gonna be looking for some draw power, and there it is! Um, I... I don't know what I... <laughs> I, 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 I... I don't wanna waste the plus power, but at the same time, I don't think it's gonna get any use. <laughs> so I think I'll just plop it on Spiro for the kicks. And I got a, oof, got lightning energy, but no fighting energy. That could be a problem. I already used my, uh, one of my two Professor Oaks, so chances are it'll take me a little while to get more energy. <laughs> um, hmm. Call it a turn. <laughs> I mean, he could still decide to switch into Clefable, which is honestly probably the better choice, but this is computer AI we're talking about here. So, okay, fighting energy. There we go. And done. So, I'll knock out that Onyx when I'm ready to knock out that Onyx, dang it. <laughs> Alright, you keep uh, keep doing your thing there, thinking I'm gonna attack. And I'll keep on powering that map champ up, if possible. Uh, Alright. At least I don't have to technically worry about this, because... Because <laughs> it's more about powering up other critters at the moment. Uh, actually, maybe I should get another Electabuzz going there. And I'll leave the other Voltorb in case of trades. Or maybe even Electrode, you know, just <laughs> this is a surprise, per se. Although I got the other Voltorb on there, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of forgetting what I haven't played, dang it. Uh, the Defender, still, still not another fighting. But I can get the other Electabuzz going, and call it a turn. Yes, I won't be able to do damage to the Onyx, probably, with the Electabuzz, but I got the Machamp for that and the like, so... I think we got a decent side going here. And there is the Mod Champ. So that means it is now time to KO that Onyx. I mean, yeah, I could have did that many turns ago. But we could not risk the Dark Clefable sweeping my whole plan, so. <laughs> uh, Dark Dragonair, Dark Clefable, and Fighting are going to go back to the deck. That could be. Alright, I guess, for his strategy. I mean, he's already got a decently bolstered side, so... Anyway, he's gonna do a little nappy and he's gonna nick 
Pokemon on my bench. I don't... I think Machamp is gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, it's still gonna take damage from Machamp strike, Strikes Back, as I thought. So that's another little benefit of the powerful Machamp there. And the Spiro wakes. So we retreat, we go to Machamp, and... Um... Uh, who do I want to set up, <laughs> basically? I guess I could just go for the Electabuzz and then Seismic Toss. That will do 120, but with the Pokémon power it might do, yep, a little less. That, that's still plenty, because it can only knock it down by 20. So it's still going to do 100 damage no matter what. And now with the Onyx, it has no resistances to the Machamp. And with this power of Strikes Back, if she... Uh, if it decides to attack, what it'll do is it'll automatically take damage and it'll be within Seismic Toss range already. Oh, wait, wait. I'm, I'm so lacking in fighting, maybe I should just plop that in... in play just because, you know? Maybe... I'll hold on to that. And Seismic Toss. It might do a switch. Possibly. Probably not, though. Might just be using Onyx as the uh, defender, basically. Uh, I think he's just p trying to power up other critters, perhaps going for that Dark Dragonair. Which is... Mm, you know... You know... <laughs> How you like those apples? <laughs> and... Okay, Dratini is out, so I think Dark Dragonair is a coming, then. Okay, it's not. <laughs> I would I would have swore you would have had Dark Dragonair, but okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, I think I'll just hold on to that. I got a full bench of stuff, so... I'll just keep on sleeping on with the Machampa. So, we shall see what comes of this. Oh, and we get over to Villasini. I don't know what deck he's going to use, so... We're just gonna find out as we go, based on what cards he has. I guess, no, I guess maybe I should. Just get something on Spiro. I'm getting enough fighting energy now. So, I guess the win. And, oh, that, oh, that's the Onyx with the, ooh. So, I got another Dark Clefable, but the, uh, this Onyx might do him in here. The Bind is his last hope. Of course he would get heads. <laughs> Of course he would! But still, it's... yeah, it strikes back, so that still probably wasn't a, uh... Probably not a good idea, but eh, whatever. I guess he was like, I give up. Alright, so let's see what Villasini has. Yeah, it doesn't show what deck he has when he started out here, so he could very well have something that'll just... be perfect setup for my... No <laughs> oh, oh no! Ooh, shooty shoots. I've only got... hopefully he doesn't have the, uh, fighting deck with him. I'm going first, though, so we'll see. Uh... Okay, so... oh, he's using the grass deck. Good, good, that's... that was... okay. <laughs> a little bit worrisome there. Uh, Kangaskhan can't do damage to Electabuzz for... at best four turns, so I'm just gonna say... we should be alright in that regard, I think. But he's got... by far the better setup right now than I do, so... Hopefully I'll be able to get something going. And since he's got the power of fetch, that could make things a little bit difficult on me as well. And uh, done. I think I can't use two fighting energy on Electabuzz. Uh, it's one colorless and one lightning for his, its top attack, so yeah. Well, we shall see if I survive! <laughs> uh, Machoke. It's... It would be nice if I had a Machop. <laughs> I mean, I had the other Machop already. Oh, now you're evolving? Okay. I don't know if that the Vine Pole is not really going to do much, but... I, I think... Uh, if this was actually, like, a real deal person here, he would kind of have me. <laughs> He'd be able to switch into something that I just... Yeah, just wipe out Electabuzz much quicker, but... You know, this is computer AI, so... Just one of those situations where you gotta play to the AI's disadvantage. Switch is useless. 
I'll go Thunder Punch. Nice. Alright, I don't know if I should knock out the Genghis Khan for the same reason that I didn't knock out Onyx. Because I don't have anything established on my side except for the Electabuzz, so... Okay, I got Spearow. That's something, I guess. Uh, but that Dark Ivysaur is... Mm, it's, you can still hit it, you know? Mm. Although, come to think of it, it can't do that much damage, nor can Dratini. Let's Thundershock and knock out the Kangaskhan to stop his draw power. I mean, you might, you might get that Dark Venusaur that I have not been able to get, but... <laughs> but I don't, I don't think... He's got it, otherwise I think he would have played it by now, so... We shall see... yeah, I was gonna say, we shall see if he's just gonna stall out to get that Dark Venusaur. Alright, so Hitmonchan, we got something going now. Come on, heads flip, come on, heads flip! No! <laughs> Fine, be that way. Be that way. Yeah, if I would have got heads there, it would have been a knockout for the Dratini, of course, but... Eh, well, eh, well. Um, he doesn't use that many basic Pokémon, so it is, in, the in theory, possibly possible to wipe him out before he gets more bench Pokémon, I suppose. And that is kind of what the Swift deck here is made to do, is to do really quick, powerful attacks, if at all possible. So, I think I'm gonna just go for that and hope that I, that I can wipe him out before he gets something going. I wonder if I should switch to Hitmonchan. I don't... I mean, I have a switch, but I can't... <sighs> I think at the very least I should do a Paralysis attack to Kangaskhan to stop the fetch, because I can't knock out Kangaskhan outright, and that was successful, so there will be no extra draw for you there, mister. Ooh, Professor Oak. Okay. Time to dump out the stuff. <laughs> uh, I got a... I think these are... I think I only got one more Machoke in my deck, so if I use Professor Oak now, that would be kind of... Yeah. <laughs> be kind of... Kind of a waste, because if I get Machops, I might not be able to get it into a Machamp. Although Machops are pretty decent in on itself, so... But anyway, I'm going to do my plan of trying to wipe him out as quickly as possible, so a special punch into Kangaskhan. Weakness, of course, and all that good stuffs. Oh shoot, Bill, please don't get basics, please don't get basics! Okay, <laughs> three, three done at random here. So, oh, okay, so it's Voltorb took 20. Uh, it was done at random, so it's not like he chose to do that, but that was an awfully good hit, in all honesty, because Voltorb has such low HP. Uh, can I get one Machop so I can at least evolve it into... Hmm... 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 <laughs> uh, can I do 50 damage with something? I might be able to get a plus power... If I use Professor Oak. That would be the most ideal scenario. Oh, but those Machoke... Those poor Machoke. Um, well... Let's do that. And just go for the win. <laughs> I don't know where my plus power is. But it could very well be in my hand now. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and... Game over! <laughs> Voila. And that's the power of Professor Oak, too, because you could use that to possibly gain something that you know is in your deck, but you don't know where it is in your deck, but since you're drawing seven cards, it's a pretty good chance you'll get it. Woo! Happy days! And that is the GR Challenge Machine. Those three, five wins, Min's current clear streak is now won. Please come back and challenge again soon. I may, I'm not sure. <laughs>
<laughs> but for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I think of what I'll do next. Hopefully get that Dark Venus arc.